Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I would like to present about B products as hyper antihypertensive therapeutics. Um, greetings from Turkey. Um, I am Professor Dr. Zeliha Selamoğlu, uh, Nida Ömer Halis Demir University Medical uh, Biology Department in uh, Faculty of Medicine in Turkey. As you know, uh, oxidative stress is associated with increased generation of oxidizing molecules parallel to a significant decrease in the endogenous total antioxidant capacity. So, uh, hypertension has been established as a significant risk factor for morbidity and mortality worldwide. Especially, uh, pathogenic hypertension has linked to a variety of different factors, such as environmental, high salt intake, lack of exercise, and genetics. So, uh, hypertension can be defined as a rise of blood pressure based on altered hemodynamics of the systemic circulation. Atherosclerotic risk factors such as hypertension and aging augment the vascular generation of reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species are very clear to be both result and reason of hypertension. Nitric oxide synthase catalyzes the synthesis of nitric oxide from the substrate L-arginine. Uh, this enzymatic process can be antagonized by substitution with other L-arginine analogs, such as the nitric oxide synthase inhibitor and nitro L-arginine methyl ester. Nitric oxide, uh, especially uh, nitric oxide, is related to uh, vascular system. Especially, it is very really important and. Uh, vasoconstruction and vasodilation uh, situation. Uh, so hypertension and other external effect prompt a superoxide radical from the vascular NADPH oxidase. These cases result in oxidation of the endothelial nitric oxide synthase cofactor tetrahydrobiopterin. Inactivity of E nitric oxide uh, synthase, which led by oxidized cofactor leads was a construction by inhibiting synthesis of nitric oxide. Increased superoxide radical may reduce both synthesis and bioactivity of endothelium produced nitric oxide. Oxidative stress and hypertension are talked as one of the basic effects answerable for these neurological changes also. It is also reported that sustained hypertension causes exposure, neurochemical changes, and aging will be a significant factor in increasing the tyrosine hydroxylase activity in adrenal systems such as adrenal medulla, heart, hypothalamus, and sympathetic neurons. Uh, as you know, uh, tyrosine hydroxylase is a rate-limiting enzyme of series of catecholamine, such as uh, dopa, dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine uh, biosynthesis reactions. Antihypertensive and antioxidative effects of various nutrition and natural products have been claimed. Especially honeybee products are one of these natural matters. Honeybee products have attracted clinical interest due to their favorable pharmacological and biological properties. The presence of several important phytochemical classes such as flavonoids, aromatic acid, and phenolic components have been attributed to the beneficial effects of these products. Especially bioflavonoids, uh, the effective component in some bee products and plants are antioxidant agents. Also, 
the bio bioflavonoid content is recently taken attentions uh, in these days. Investigation on new therapeutic tar targets have been worked to provide well-tolerated applications. Apitherapy, which is the medicinal use of honeybee products, has been used as a source of complementary medicine to treat a variety of acute and chronic ailments and is a functional food. Especially we can see a very important and effective component uh, in these natural products, especially in uh, bee products such as uh, propolis, we can see a very important uh, component is caffeic acid phenethyl ester. An association between the arrangement of vascular mechanisms by flavonol rich foods and blood pressure has been permanently monitored. monitored. Various clinical studies have demonstrated hypotensive or antihypertensive effect of flavonoids relative to increases in flow mediated dilation. Uh, actually, uh, I, uh, me and my team, we studied many, uh, many research, many research uh, study related to uh, B products and B, uh, B products and hypertensive, uh, cor hypertensive correlation. Uh, we obtained uh, many good results about that study. Uh, so I would like to share with you some uh, papers in uh, from uh, my uh, me and my team in our laboratory. Uh, especially in this study, uh, we have demonstrated that propolis, uh, caffeic acid phenethyl ester, and pollen administration decrease blood pleasure. So exhibiting antihypertensive and antioxidant properties against uh, L and L name induce hypertension. These therapeutic agents may contribute to direct vasorelactant uh, properties and the reduction of elevated blood pleasure. Also, we studied uh, another uh, research uh, related to that uh, issue. We investigated the therapeutic effects of B pollen, propolis, and copy in male spread WA rates that were hypertension induced uh, with L name. Uh, we, we used it uh, as a nitric oxide synthase inhibitor, uh, L name in administration, uh, especially tyrosine hydroxylase activity and catecholamine biosynthesis were increased and also total RNI levels were decreased in the heart, adrenal medulla, and hypothalamic tissue or rat treated uh, with l name compared with the control group. Overall, bipolar, propolis, and caffeic acid phenethyl ester treatment suggest antihypertensive and anti-stress effect. In another study, uh, showed the effect of propolis on biochemical and hematological parameters in chronic nitric oxide synthase inhibited rats by uh, and nitroallerginin methyl ester. Uh, that study concluded that hemostasis is modulated in L name administrated rats by adding propolis, which causes increasing generation of vascular nitric oxide level. In another study, uh, we demonstrated that chronic L name administration for 15 days caused oxidative stress and treatment of propolis significantly decreased oxidative stress. The results suggest that administration of propolis is important in reduce oxidative stress and protect the testes in L name induced rats. In another uh, study uh, suggests that propolis may play an important role in maintaining homostasis as an antagonist substance to L-name-induced increase of tyrosine hydroxylase activity. 
Propolis causes the protective, protective effect against uh, L name induced damage and improve vein pressure. We suggest that propolis may be used to protect against the hypertensive effect of L name in the prevention of degenerative disease. In another uh, study, uh, we, uh, we examined uh, the antioxidant effect of propolis, which natural product on biochemical parameters in brain and lung tissue of acute nitric oxide synthase inhibited rats by uh, nitroalarginine metal ester. It is quite clear that reactive oxygen species are both a consequence hypertension um, uh, both a consequence and a cause of hypertension. While oxidant injury alone might not be capable of causing hypertension, it clearly augments elevation of blood pressure, uh, pressure when other causes, such as elevated angiotensin II and salt loading, are present. It is well known that propolis and it is metabolites are free radical scavenger and antioxidant. Differences in chemical composition are associated with variation in biological and pharmacological activities of propolis uh, as a byproduct. Uh, in, an, in another article, uh, we studied antioxidant effect of propolis on biochemical parameters in kidney and heart tissues of acute nitric oxide synthase inhibited rats by nitroalarginine methyl ester. We suggest that propolis may be used to protect against hypertensive effect of L name in the prevention of oxidative stress in kidney and heart and on other degenerative diseases. In addition to, we reported antioxidant potential of propolis extract against oxidative stress in hypertension rats. Also, uh, we studied, uh, we studied uh, propolis effect on the uh, liver injury in uh, cell line, uh, especially cancer cell line related to hepatic uh, cells. We obtained very good result related to uh, it is uh, antioxidant and anti-cancer uh, effect. So uh, that will contribute to the scientific literature about hypertension and it is both cause and result developed oxidative stress. In recent years, most of uh, interest have been focused on the therapeutic properties of exogenous antioxidant in biological systems and on, uh, on the mechanisms of their biological activities. Natural products are a promising sources for the discovery of new pharmaceuticals, such as uh, related to B products and their effect on the hypertensive uh, cases. These studies will shed light on new resources allowing different usage of honeybee products to keep the inner balance of body constant and give direction to the developments of new extract and preparation and also standardization. I would like to some references it, uh, related to that presentation. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Dr. Selma Maglu. Thank you very much for your presentation. And now I'd like to open the virtual floor to questions. Anyone want to add some questions? I think it was so overwhelmingly interesting that people are not sure how to ask <laughs> and are not familiar enough with the bee pollen <laughs> studies. But very interesting. Uh, since you have a few more minutes, is there anything else you'd like to share regarding any of the other presentations that you heard or, or your, your wishes for, for 
very soon research, another research project. project. Any questions? Is there any question? <laughs> 